Hello there, I'm Kelly. This is my channel, Incredible Anyway, where I talk about how to live an incredible life, no matter what your circumstances are. I am so excited. My friend, my best friend, is coming to visit tomorrow. And I hope to get to introduce her to you all. We both have reason to make sure that neither of us have COVID. So, I am taking this test at home and she is taking it as well. So it says easy to use, accurate, quick results. So let's see if I have COVID y'all. I wear an N95 mask whenever I'm around people. I really haven't been out. Right now I'm at my parents' house, uh, they're on vacation and uh, my house is being cleaned. I wore a mask with the people that are cleaning my house. Today is Wednesday. I was at the hospital getting my IV infusions on Monday. My friend comes tomorrow. So wow, this is a very big thing. And there's a little thing. I have not done any at-home COVID test at all. Oh, I forgot about the swab. Swab, and then this thing, I don't know what it is. And then another certificate of quality. Oh, this one's in Spanish. <laughs> I mean, I know Spanish. A rapid test for the detection of antigens of SARS-CoV-2. So I think I'll read it in English though, because even though I can read it in Spanish for the most part, carefully read the instructions. Okay, I read the English version of the package insert. It's crazy because you have to swab inside the one side of the nostril five times and the other side five times and then like well, we're gonna do the whole thing we're gonna do the whole thing but i'm gonna wash my hands okay i just wash my hands and mom and dad your soap in the kitchen by the sink it reeks it smells way too perfumey Blech. so i have to wash my hands twice because the first one was bad Okay, so wash my hands. I read the instructions, checked the kit contents. I have everything. So first thing is to open up this, which is apparently the, ta-da. When I was reading the instructions, I was like, this sounds like pregnancy test and how you determine like if there's one line or two. This is an extraction buffer and then punch through the perforated hole. Now I get the nasal swab. At least I don't have to like dig my own brains out like they did when I was in the hospital when I uh, had COVID. If you haven't seen those videos, there are plenty of videos of my experience. Okay, so this was the middle thing. This is the nostril thing. This is really weird. My eye, was, my, my eye is watering. That does not feel good. <coughs> I'm so sensitive. All right, my other eye is watering. All right, immediately place into the buffer tube. There we are. Da -da. Now rotate the swab five times while squeezing the tube. Okay. So it says to squeeze the tube and rotate five times for, how do you even rotate it if you're squeezing it? If I have any COVID in there, it's gonna be found. Move the swab while squeezing the tube. Ta-da. Firmly. Mix thoroughly by swirling or flicking the bottom of the tube. Flick, flick, flick. I feel like I need background music for this. Sample well is at the bottom where my finger is. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna come back in 15 minutes and we're gonna see what this thing says. It's working. So you can see it's working like that. Is move, the red line is moving up. All right, my alarm went off. My cheeks are probably red because I am. I'm playing outside with the dogs that have been throwing the ball. And it's nice out actually. So I haven't looked at it and let's, let's look at it together. Uh, yeah, that's pretty clear that the test, it, there have, would have to be two lines 
for me to be positive. So this means I'm negative. The reason I'm taking it is obviously because my friend's coming. Um, it's not because I'm symptomatic or anything. I'll take a photo of it and send it to my friend because I'm super excited. At least on my end, she hasn't taken hers yet. So I just sent my a friend a photo of the negative test and I'm so excited. So that we're halfway through. I mean, she's got a test negative, obviously. And I feel like we're getting there, you know, like there've been so many hurdles. We have tried to get together. We've wanted to get together probably pretty much since we met. We had active plans to get together this summer. And unfortunately my health, my many years, put that like totally through that in the trash can. So this has been a long time coming and we've been waiting for a very long time. So we're both so excited. I'm so excited. I'm, I just can't like, I'm just excited to meet her. I'm excited to just be with her. And I think we're both excited because we're both uh, chronically ill and have disabilities. So we both understand what it means to you know, if you have chronic health issues, you know how hard it is to get together with people, understand how much effort you're having to put out and that you really need to rest and nap and, and just be sometimes, like not interact and not do what people who are like typically healthy would think are, is fun stuff. Like I think those of us who are chronically ill, we find how to have fun like, I feel like I can have fun no matter what I'm doing. And that only became, came true because I have chronic health issues. I had to learn how to have fun. I had to learn how to have a good life. I'm watching a K-drama, a Korean drama. Um, it's called The King's Affection, I think. They have them dubbed. They For a while, they only had them in subtitles. They had it in Korean and in subtitles, and now they have it dubbed in English. I really hope I get to share my time with my friend if she doesn't want to be on camera then and we've already talked about it. I think she's okay with being camera, but I just, I always let a person decide. Anybody who's on my uh, YouTube channel, I always ask them and they give me permission. I make sure that they are okay with it. And sometimes I'll actually even send them, like if they're heavily featured in a video, I'll send them the video before I make it public so that they can say, oh, I'm not comfortable with that or I am comfortable with that. People's privacy is really important to me and knowing that people are comfortable is really important to me and I'm a big person of, of keeping people's confidences and keeping people's privacy and um, I would never share anything of anybody um, unless I was given an explicit permission to share that specific piece of information. I'm negative, negative. I'm so excited. She will be here in less than 24 hours. Like I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm not excited. I'm like, like crying is happy. I can't believe it. It's been such a long time coming. I feel like it's been a lot. I feel like I've known her a lot longer than I've known her. It's happening. Thank you guys for watching. I am Kelly. Remember, you are not alone. Go find your incredible anyway. You are not alone in this world. You are not alone. You are not alone in this world, you are not alone.